Don't feel so good. <clears throat> Friday, July 1st, day 105. My father would have been 95 today had he not died at almost 68. Um, left, well I had to walk a mile back to the trailhead from uh, the restaurant we tented at last night. Uh, I got up pretty early, earlier than usual and was at the trailhead at 8.30 which is early for me. hot but not as bad as I thought a little breeze bugs are killing me I keep slamming my ears as the gnats land I'm gonna burst an eardrum eventually all that breeze feels nice uh, there's a campsite up here or, or a campground I'm gonna refresh on water and stuff but I'm gonna keep going Oops. You might be asking why I have these laurel leaves stuck in my hat around my ears. Well, when I was walking down the path and I was being annoyed by gnats for the 13 millionth time, I was taking my straps as I've done before on my lecky poles and just kind of waving them around. And it seemed to mitigate them. So I don't know. It's not like it's... It's not like the straps are that offensive to them. And I'm like thinking, do they think it's a swallow or something like that? So I made these little imitation swallow wings. And wouldn't you know, it seems to be helping. Um, although I do notice them around my eyes more. So now I'm going to have to hang some off the brim of my hat. But, uh... Yeah, I'm at Catalonia Park, I think it's called. There's a nice stream over here. I expected to find some of my uh, hiker buddies from last night, but they left about, I don't know, a half hour ahead of me. So they might have been here and left already, or they're in a different part of the park. Beautiful place for a swim, but I washed my legs in the water fountain. So I took my pack off. I'm going to cool down a little bit. There's a garbage can right next to this picnic table. So I'm going to eat a little something and throw out my trash. And uh, head back out real quick here. It's nice having a full complement of uh, cold water. The reviews said the water fountain tasted like steel pipes. But it's actually pretty good to me. This is green because it's got uh, liquid IV. Uh ginger and lemon which has a little bit of caffeine in it from honey baby it's got some kind of matchka tea or some shit Ooh. all right i've done 5.2 i think i said that uh i gotta keep going i just had a comment on one of my videos why do you do the trail all you do is complain which wasn't a very positive comment if you ask me Hold on. So I went back and forth with this person. I'm assuming it's a she. 
just because of the tone. That may be a little sexist, but just the sense I got. Maybe the name too. And I got to thinking, have you ever have you ever put down a novel or walked out of a movie and asked why someone would create such a work that was so sad and depressing? Well, maybe that person does. But uh you know, here I am on my channel exposing my candid and honest uh, feelings and emotions on the trail. And someone comes along and says, then why would you do the trail? All you do is complain. Yeah, that's, that's insulting me to the core. But you know, I left the comment up for others to read. You know, maybe it is me. Why am I doing the trail? All I do is complain. So it's like... That's why I'm Kaf Kuba. I'm hearing thunder. These freaking laurel leaves seem to be working. Or it's an amazing coincidence. I just descended, I don't know, a thousand, eleven hundred feet. It was uh, steep sections punctuated by plateaus and then steep sections. I went by this shelter. I, I'm kicking myself in the ass for not sharing it with you all. Quarry Run Shelter, I think it was called. Oh my God, the shelter was right off the trail. It looked like a Czech mountain lodge. It had like separate sections. It had like pre uh, uh, backpack hanging, uh, like not just not just ones people throw up a string. These were like well planned out. It had like caulking in between the logs. Um, it was pristine, right off the trail, eating section. I wished I had filmed it. I'm hoping the, uh, yeah, you may know this, but a lot of the shelters in Pennsylvania are, are uh, really well done. Um, and I'm hoping though, I can show you another one. I'm hoping to get to one, and I'm hoping it doesn't storm on me. Uh, ever since I put these imitation swallow wings on my ears, the gnats have been going to my eyes more. I got a patent this, copyright it. If anybody steals my idea, it's July 1st, 2022. And uh, my patent is any item hanging about the ears, eyes, nose and mouth that uh, resembles a, a moving object, flag, bird wings, butterfly wings, or the like, uh, designed to keep insects away. So any variation thereof I own, starting now. You know, I'm thinking of, speaking of my father's birthday, he used to, he used to press our ears together, squeeze our, squeeze our heads between his hands and press our ears together so we wouldn't end up looking like howdy doody. I think it worked, but now my ears are the size of flapjacks. My brother does his still to the day. He, his ears look like a, his ears are pinned back like a pissed off puma. So there's a shelter two miles up here. I'm gonna break for lunch. I wish that last shelter that I didn't film was the one I'm going to. It sounds like the one I'm going to is an older, rundown shelter. That last one would have been great entertainment. So I got two miles to go up here, which should get me to around a little past 2.30. And uh, probably close to 15 miles for the day. Or not for the day. So, moving along pretty good. Uh, one big climb, another dip and a little climb, a drunk carrying a dr jug with no shirt on, a ridge runner. That's pretty much all I've seen today. There's also some rocky sections at the beginning. You'll see them in the beginning of the video. So I'm gonna break for lunch 
and uh, decide where I'm st spending the night. Hopefully it'll be around 20, maybe even 20 plus miles. But all the campsites and shelters that I want to stay at, lo and behold, have warnings of creepy guys and people carrying around hammers and no camping gear. So, um, uh, take three, Sugar Wolf, KFC, and uh, Baloo the Bear Necessities left about a half hour before me. Um, I'm guessing I'll catch up with them at a shelter, even though they're there first. And that might make it a little uh, more comfortable if there's other people around that can uh, help me ward off crazy murderers. Ah. Yeah, and he came to rescue me after the first uh, thunder and hail. Got so wet for nothing, poor guy. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I was already halfway there, but yeah, he was worried about me. So I made it to Birch Run Shelter for a 2.30 lunch. And it was packed full of everybody that had left before me this morning and others and started pouring just as I was finishing lunch. I was able to water up, eat a quick peanut butter wrap, watched it pour for an hour and now it's a window and I had my heart set on doing 20 today. So I'm heading back out. Even though there's more storm cells in the forecast, I just, uh, I didn't want to stay at a crowded shelter. And I would have had to set up my tent on wet ground anyway. So I'm gonna put the phone away and motor ass. It's four o'clock. I have plenty of daylight, but I don't know if I have a big enough window from the next storm, so we'll see. Wished it felt better. My feet are killing me. So I did 21.3 today from Swamp Road to Tom Run Shelter, where I'm at now. Nice little setup. Managed to get a 10 pad, even though most of them were full when I got here. Um, streams real close, easy to resup uh, re filter water. Had a ramen bomb with tuna for dinner and uh, hit 1100 miles. And uh, yeah, I, I uh, stopped at Pine Run Shelter, I think it was, at like 15 something and uh, stopped for lunch and it was packed and full of people and it poured there. So I got lucky and the sun came out and I managed to get soaked wet anyway. My feet were soaked from all the tall grass and puddles and whatnot. Feet were killing me. Um, feet are soaked. Uh, but I made it here. Made it past 1100, made it 21.3 and now I'm at Tom Run Shelter and uh, I think tomorrow's at Pine Grove place where it's the half gallon challenge and I'll swing in there and I do a half case challenge but I'm not gonna eat a half gallon of ice cream I might have a little pint or whatever but um, it's 9 p.m. chatted with some nice ladies up top who got lost today because they got here earlier than they went for our side trail and they managed to get misdirected because the trail was unmarked or something and anyway I'm gonna uh, compile these videos and hit the hay and uh, so I, I got here before the rain started it got dark and then it didn't rain so we're suspecting it's gonna rain tonight so it's gonna be wet shit tomorrow again so we'll see what tomorrow brings night